Wow, look at you, Form 1 videos. Wow, wow, wow. So you are in the Form 1 class. Congratulations on making it so far in your education. We are in for an exciting journey. That's my mic I'm hooking up there. In this course, we are in for an exciting journey in mathematics. So because you are doing a number of classes with the Student Hub, you have access to these classes as well as your live classes. I want to remind you to do your assignments and let's just dive into it. So on the board, you see the word denary system. Sometimes you may see decimal system. And when they say decimal system here, they're not really talking about decimals like 1.35, you know, that's a decimal number. They're not really talking about that particularly. They are talking about the system that we count in. How do you count? You say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then we start over 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Have you ever stopped to think, why are we starting over 10? Why didn't we start over at 11? Why is there another number special for 11? There are actually different systems to count, you know. There's something called the binary system, hexadecimal system, different system. Your computer uses the binary system. In that system, there are only zeros and ones. Zero, one, one, zero, one, one. It's a really weird system. We, however, just count with the 10 system, and that is called the denary system. Denary, and that word just really signifies the 10 in it. So the digits used are 10 digits. And do you know what the digits are? Do you know what the 10 digits are? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. No, 10 is not a digit. 10 is a combination of 1 and 0. It's not a, it's not a numeral by itself. What's the 10 digit in the binary system? Hmm. If I count up all these digits on the board here, I only get 9. So the 10th digit, let me let you know, it's actually 0. 0 is the 10th digit. So it's actually starting at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then you, re you begin again at 10, 11, 12, 13, so 14, 15, going along the road like that. And then you reach 19, then you begin again at 20, and you go all up the way up to 29. And this happens all the way down to 99 before you restart again with 100. So... All the numbers you can think of in the world right now, make use of these 10 digits. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Think about any number. It's a combination of these digits. So, thinking about any number, what's the biggest number that you can think of? The biggest number. The biggest number that you can see. Is it like 1 million? Maybe, you know, 10 million? Maybe 100 million? Maybe 1,000 million? Which is a billion, so you maybe a billion. Maybe you think in a billion. What's bigger than a billion? A trillion? And there are other numbers bigger than a trillion. Well, in math, for exams, you generally don't see numbers crossing a couple million. And at this level, we expect you to have an idea of numbers all the way up to one billion. So let me explain. This is 10. Very tiny. This is 100. Less tiny. This is 1,000. 10 times 10 times 10 is 1,000. 10,000 looks like this, four zeros. 100,000 looks like this, five zeros. Notice how every three zero, I make a little space so that the number is easily read. One zero 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 zero. That's a famous number there. That's one million. This is 1,000. This is our 10. This is our 100. So if I put a box around everything again, I put a box around everything. So let me just put the numbers to stand out, right? So this is 1,000. This is 1 million. What's next? Next up, we have 10, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 10 million. Then I could say 100 million, and we're getting very close to the final number for the day. 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Nine zeros make that number one billion. So, do you remember expanded notation? That fun stuff from primary school, it, it, it normally comes at the beginning of the exam paper. So, if you have the number 1,345 and I tell you to write this in expanded notation, what do you do? Does that mean to write the number like this? Expanded notation. The number has been expanded. Of course not. It doesn't mean to write any number like that. Don't be silly. So what we'll have to do is get the place value 
and I can put little, can I put an O for one, uh, T for 10, because you all know this already, right? H for 100, TH for 1,000, then you have tens of thousands, and we keep going on just like what we did with all these tens here. And if you want to put in an expanded notation, we put a bracket and we multiply the number by its place value, so 1 by 1,000. Ah, it's coming back. Ring in a bell, 3 by 100. Maybe I'll give you all some for homework or maybe to do the quiz to make sure that, you know, we up to speed. 4 by 10 plus 5 by 1. So 1,345 in expanded notation will look like this. What about this number? 109,058 in expanded notation. We expect it to look like that. And, and if you look at it, the, the, the zero is multiplied by what? 10,000, so I left that out. And there's another zero multiplied by 1,000. Oh, no, this is multiplied by 100. This is in the 100 column. I left that out as well. So this is 1 by 100,000, 9 by 1,000, 0 by 100, that's left out, 0 by 10,000, that's left out, 5 by 10, and 8 by 1. So make sure you know your expanded notation. We'll make sure you have that in your homework. How was the first class? You feel like you're refreshed with some of the things from earlier and last year that you would have learned a long time ago. We're going to go through some of the basics in the next few classes to make sure you're up to speed and you're right where you should be for this level of mathematics, love and blessings. I'll see you in the next class.